40 years ago, September 20th, um, I had my son Todd Bishop. He was in the NICU at least 10 days until he got stabilized. Just rely on your nurses. They're there. They, they're there to answer any questions that you have and just to help you. And um, after a long stay, you end up becoming almost friends with your nurses because they're there and they know everything about your child. <laughs> When you're there, it becomes not a scary place. You know, when you're there with your kids, um, the the sight is, you know, overwhelming. You know, but when you when you're there every day, it's your home. These little kids are so determined and resilient and. They've gone through so much in their little lives, and I don't know how they do it. I don't know how. Don't be fearful of, you know, your experience there, and trust, you know, in the doctors and um, the nursing staff. Um, they're just wonderful, and again, I just don't have enough praise, you know, for that whole team, you know, 40 years ago um, up through today. I mean, the doctors are great, the nurses are great, and they'll do everything, everything they can to get your baby healthy so that you can take it home. We are beyond grateful for the NICU and for everything that they've done for us, all the doctors, the nurses. Um, they've they saved our kids' lives, you know, uh, and I will be eternally grateful for that. Say thank you, NICU. Thank you, thank you. Aww. In a sense, they almost become, they're, your mo they're the mothers you know, for all of these babies, not just mine. And in a sense, they get to know the baby's personalities. And while that's a hard thing for a mom to grasp because she's not there, you want the best for, for them. And um, they really, they, they made me feel like there's no place in the world I would have wanted them.